Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you the process on how you can generate a new SSH key and add it to your GitHub account. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. It will be greatly appreciated. Thank you. So let's go to our GitHub account. Let's sign in. Let's use the, uh, let's enter our username and then the password so this is your github dashboard and let's check the documentation on how we can generate ssh key so on the upper right corner of your screen let's click on that and then let's go to github docs then from here we can search like about ssh let's click this one and we are going straight to the check for existing SSH key because we're not gonna discuss the agent and the managing deploy keys. So in here, um, let's follow the instruction. Let's open the terminal. So I'm gonna make this side by side so it is easy for us to switch the terminal and to our documentation. So let's follow the steps here. So it says here it's um, ls minus al and then that ssh. So there are no ssh keys present on our ssh folder. So let's proceed to the next step, which is to generate new ssh key. And let's follow the instruction here. So on the second step, let's uh, run this command and copy on our terminal and let's change the this to your own email address so in this case it's bellrays toolkit at gmail.com enter and it will ask you where do you want to save this so since this is the default location let's just press enter and it will ask you for a passphrase. So enter for a passphrase here. So let's check if it's been generated. Now, SSH folder. So the key pair has been generated. And let's proceed to the next step. And let's add the SSH key to the SSH agent. Let's copy this one, go to our terminal and paste it looking good. And then on the step two, add your SSH private key to the SSH agent. Then it will ask the password that you used a while ago. So I'm going to enter my password here and that's your passphrase. So, so the identity added with my email address. So let's uh, proceed to the next step. Let's check the add a new SSH key. Let's choose Linux, the web browser. Let's scroll down a bit. And on step one, let's copy the SSH public key. Um, let's copy this command and paste it here. So this is the public key. And on step two, let's go to our dashboard and go to the settings. So the dashboard on the upper right corner click on settings and then click on SSH and GPG keys and then click the new SSH key and you can name it anything you want. Say, well, they still keep public key and then let's copy the public key from our terminal, paste it here and add SSH key. So let's check the next step. Now let's go back to the documentation and let's check the next step, which is to test your SSH connection. Let's see if this will work. Let's go to the terminal and let's do SSH minus T git github.com. Yes. Hi, Bellrays Toolkit. This is the username. You have successfully authenticated. So let's go back to our dashboard. Um, as you can see here, uh, I already created a sample repository, which is repo one. Let's click on that. And let's try to 
um, clone this repository into our terminal. So just click on the code here and then select the SSH because we're using the SSH to authenticate to the GitHub. So just copy it and then let's go back to the terminal. Type git clone and then paste it here and enter. Okay, it's been authenticated. And let's check the repo one if it's been cloned. So as you can see, the repo one folder has been cloned. So let's go to the repo one. So yep, the code.yaml is already here, which is good. So let's try adding a file. So let's say touch file one dot yaml. Touch file two dot yaml. Touch file three dot yaml. And then if you do ls, so inside the repo one repository, we have now four files. So let's uh, perform, uh, let's push this to GitHub. So what you can do here is to do a git status. Yep, it says here your branch is up to date with origin main, but we still have files that needs a commit. So let's add it first. So git add and then you can like git add individual files but you can also do this add that it will add everything do a git add and then dot so we could add the three files then let's do a git status again let's see what's the status so so we need to commit this so you what you can do is to git commit minus m and then the message, first commit, or let's say second commit, and then enter. It's been committed. And then let's check the status again. So we need to push it. So just run git push command, and then look successful. Let's check the status. And it says here, your branch is up to date with the origin. So let's go back to our dashboard. And let's do a refresh. As you can see, those three files that we created has been pushed to our dashboard. Thank you. <laughs>